Welcome back to another episode. I'm to hear more. I'm Patrick Cloud. And this is another episode of Damn Internet, You Scary. Hey, we got hey. a very special freaking guest in the house. Freak He's it. back from the East Coast. Ladies and gentlemen, every freaking me. guest and every. Fr- <laughs> <laughs> I was trying out to cuss right out the gate. I was, that's freaking. all that was. But, ladies and gentlemen, My put your position. hands together for Detroit's own Mr. C. P. Hey. Hey, man, I'm happy to be here, man. I watched this stuff. Um. This is one of my favorite podcasts from you hey. guys, and y'all, y'all got like eight of them. So you know, first of all, we <laughs> y'all are y'all are the Tyler Perry many, of podcasts. How many podcasts do you have now? You have like four, right? I have. We have this, and then I have more to the story, more. and then Squadcast. Oof. But I was trying to get one with my home, but my homeboy's a professor. Very, very. You got to call zooming guy. with the homies as a podcast, though. Well, zooming with the homies, yeah, and, and that is zooming with the homies is coming back. We're bringing that back next year, but this is going to be one episode per week. Nice. So we're going to just produce it through the week and then just release them. So we're going to take in a month. Nice. Like live, yeah. Or Oh, yeah, we're gonna do it here. And zooming with that's the fans. Yeah, we're gonna have right. it. Zooming but with next year we're also taking Damn and That Too Scary on the road. Yeah, um, that's gonna be dope. My plan is to do Damn and That Too Scary in one market, and then the next day in the next market, and then that Friday and Saturday do another market with my my comedy show. So then I only have to go on the road one week out of the month. So oh, like wow. Wednesday it would be Austin, and then Thursday it would be Houston, and then Friday and Saturday would be Dallas, and I would do t- four shows and. And then that whole weekend, I mean that whole week, I just clean up. I got a dope I idea. I got a dope idea for y'all to start about. I'm gonna tell you after this. We, yeah, we talk about it. But yeah, yeah, that would be dope because we we've been talking about taking it on the road for a while. Then COVID hit and we couldn't mm-hmm. do anything. But I wanted to do Zoom with the homies on the road too, which still might be an option because Ty, hopefully, if she's still available, she's gonna be my feature. So it'd be me and her, and then three guests from that city. Which is still be dope. Be dope. Yeah. I mean, time, you probably man. have enough podcasts to do a podcast tour. We, yeah, not like or honestly, just have like two or three in one night. We could do <laughs> Damn and That You Scary Wednesday, Zoom with the Homies on Thursday, and then Friday, Saturday do the comedy show. Because you could be, you could always be the third guest, and then we only got to find two people. That right. sounds and good. We clean but up. Niggas get tired, bro. Oh yeah, yeah. No, but that's why I'm only doing it once, right? A month. That's smart. So it would ever be every fourth week of the month. So the other three weeks, I'm here to do acting. Do auditions, supermarket sweep, all of that type of shit. To I here be my, working. I oh, nigga, I'm gonna be with, working with though. Yeah, I, I started right. with doing just the the intro, and here's your host, Leslie Jones. But now I'm doing the the, the commentary while they running through the aisles. Fire, nice. yeah. fire. First of all, I told my managers when I got done with the year, I said, "Get me on the road, man. I'm ready." Man, that role like I called them. Like, hey, man, look, I was just playing. <laughs> I know what I said. <laughs> man, this like, shit is brutal. It is so fucking hard. People don't like. I didn't even realize how taxing it is, especially because we were shooting a fucking food show mm-hmm. in some of the cities while we're doing it. So we getting up at seven, be in lobby at eight or eight fifteen to have a nine o'clock call at a location. We doing three locations a day. Getting back to the hotel around two thirty. Kind of ridiculous. And then me and Angel and and Goose, our manager, we got to be back at the club at five to set up for our merch. And we sell shirts before the show. I was there. After the show, and then we, as a new crowd is coming in for the second show, we doing the exact same thing. We giving them all the energy. Hey, what's up, y'all? Come on over to the mm-hmm. table. Whoop the whoop whoop. All of that shit. <laughs> and then still got to perform and then sell shirts after that show. Uh uh-uh. uh. And the niggas be like, Yo, what we doing after the show? Not a motherfucking thing. Uh-uh. I'm going to sleep. Yep. My insomnia has been kicking my ass. My diverticulitis kicked back up. I've been going to sleep at like four in the morning. Stomach hurt. I can't get comfortable. Mm-hmm. I'm sleeping on my side, back turning, tossing, turning. Bro, it's been hell. And we still got two months left. Yeah. <laughs> two <laughs> fucking months and left. I can stop after that. The new, next year yes. it starts. People so. got to understand, like, they starting to make me hate jokes a little bit. Like, I'll be like, man, look, dog. Hate not, jokes? Not like that, but it's like, man, they bleeding your boy. Yeah. Of everything. Listen, I, once you get to a certain point in your career, and we, we all over the place with this. We ain't even done the, 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 uh, the intro song. Y'all, Oh, start, yeah. start throw, throwing the, the, the topics for the genres. Genres. Oh, we get the freestyle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Does, does, I get the freestyle yeah, too. Yeah, get in there. So, um, so excited, man. You get to a point where you like you know what you want your audience to be, which is why I've, I've kind of separated myself from, um, what is it, Roast Me. And people are like, yo, when are they coming out with a new Roast Me? I was like, obviously you haven't been watching the channel because <laughs> Roast Me Battlegrounds has been going for almost a year and a half. Now. Right. That's number one. Number two, when you going back on Roast Me, nigga, never... I am never going back on roast me. One, these niggas are different. All right? <laughs> they are funny as fuck. Crazy. These niggas are different, and it's, I don't want a part of it. That's number one. Number two, <laughs> the energy around roast me is like the energy around being a member of the Migos. Like niggas come at you super aggressive. Oh, you the nigga from the classroom shit? Boy, I'm about to roast your motherfucking ass. It's like it's I don't, brutal. I don't want that. It's brutal. On our first interaction. Oh, it's like brutal. It's, why you can't just come up like yo? I like your work, B. 
you got to go straight to roast me, roll, hand all in my face, all that. Nigga, that's, uh, no. Can I be honest with you, too? I don't want no more of that. I love it. I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> I'm going to tell you why. Because my problem with roast me is that I'm sick of roasting my friends. Yeah. Like, I'm really, really tired of roasting people who I respect and roasting people who I really don't even feel that way about. Yeah. It gets hard. Roasting people and I see the deflate, like the deflation on their uh, face. Ooh. And it just seems mean. Yeah, I'm just like, oh, come nigga, on. Nigga, right. I always think about that one episode, that Christmas episode, that these niggas went in on Brody for five minutes, and I saw the life leave his body. Y'all niggas roasted five years off of that nigga's life. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you why. And I was like, throw in the towel! <laughs> but I love, I remember like when I was in Chicago, uh, we was filming um, Laugh Tracks. Mm-hmm. And we did that in Chicago. And then, uh, you know, Chicago niggas, man, bless their heart. You know? <laughs> um, I'm standing outside smoking a joint after my set. And this dude was just like, what's up, man? You was funny. I'm like, that's what's up. Yeah, you the nigga from Roast Me. Yeah. You old uh, big eyed motherfucker. Just, just <laughs> like that. And I'm like, man, I, I looked at him. And I was like, I do have time. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like and I remember, I just, I just destroyed this man. Yes. Boy, come on, man, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah. And I'm like, nigga, like, I don't have no love for you yeah. at all. Oh, I, now, that, that, that I yeah, can do. That I can, I can do. I, CP's I can that do. battle rapper yeah. that will battle you on the street. Anytime. Yes. <laughs> and I get it. I love it. It's, it's like, I, I have I, the I bars like it's kind of like, like the NBA. It's a young man's sport. And you also get to a point where it's like, bro, like, I'm thinking about, when I get back to town, we got to film this show, this show, this show. All right, I got to do inventory. I need to see my sales and see what's what's selling in this city so I can make note of that for next year's tour, all of that type of shit. The last thing I want to do is, like, go in on, or not even go in, just, like, go back and forth with something I don't know that it's not about to further my career. Mm. Like, the, that's the thing. It keeps you sharp, yeah, yeah, but I also mainly. stay sharp on stage. Yeah, the way the my, the way my Napoleon complex is set up. Um, At least you admit it. This is perfect for me because yeah. if the NBA is a tall man's game yeah <laughs> roasting is a little evil man's game no, you know for what I'm real, though. and it's like you know I, sometimes I'd be like I couldn't reach that one shit <laughs> you know what I'm saying it's like for real bro it's it's, it's 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 I like that but you know what's crazy is that I'm I'm getting worried about like on the show I just did I played a positive black man yeah and it's like damn dog like they love me for that yeah and it's like, they don't even know about Roast Me yet. Hopefully, mm-hmm. they don't see it until after all the checks. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm it's saying? Like, CP is kind of foul mouth. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so, I don't, you know, I'll oh, worry. Oh, they know. If oh, they yeah. work with you closely on the set, they know who oh, they the know fuck now, you but, are. But I used it for so much good on set. I never mm-hmm. was Yeah, but CP, this is what that means. It means you have range. That's true. That's true. He understood the assignment. Yeah. He could go from positive to demon. You're not the same person quick, all the time. Exactly. And that's, what, that's what they're looking for. He yeah. He's a little demonic. Yeah, man. That's funny. It's tight, though. I, 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 I can't I wait. I, everybody wants to see you versus the new Atlanta people. And oh, it's like, nigga. I would only love one to see I, CP. Only one, only one I want to see is K-Dub. That's it. I was just saying, I would love to see CP and K-Dub. Because the way some, both of these what's niggas' nigga, Nav Green? Nah, G. I like Nav Green, too. But, nigga, you like you suck boiled eggs. Nigga, you I would also like to see him against Ronnie. Because I feel like he wouldn't I mean, hold Ronnie, who? Ronnie. Ronnie who? Jordan. Oh, nigga, that's my nigga. But come I on, know, be hard I just, like, every time I see him, I throw a couple at him. It's, it's, I, we, I Ronnie, was watching him. Ronnie, you don't want no smoke. Nav, you don't want no smoke. Uh, <laughs> the other nigga, uh, what's his name? He, Tyler. Tyler who? Chronicles. Oh, that's my guy. No yeah. smoke. Um, <laughs> that's my nigga. That's, uh, the, that's the coolest thing about this Atlanta thing, because it's like, there is a lot of great new talent, but it's also just going to be new jokes because there's new people, yeah. you know? Because obviously, when it's the same 10 people every single time, yeah. it's it's funny because you guys are creative, but it's always good to have fresh blood. And we didn't, it, because of L.A., it seems like we had exhausted a lot of the the, the people. We, we kind of know who's good out there, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And it's hard right now. It, it was very, very hard to find new talent during COVID. People were like, yo, we y'all bringing it back? It's like, yo, you got to understand, we, we we think the same way y'all think. We don't want to put the same people on right. the channel. Or Pat doesn't want to put the same people on the channel. But it's hard to do casting calls when there's a fucking pandemic going on. Right. So, like, Battlegrounds was a way for us, for Pat, to continue the show, mm-hmm. but 
also like still be safe. So you, you got to give a little grace when you're working with something like that. But that going, you still you guys still going to other cities though, right? You going to yeah. Do- so basically, the plan now. So yeah, like Tahir said, um, Battlegrounds was literally designed because Roast Me um, had too many people for COVID regulations. So I basically had to break it down so that you guys weren't just like, "Where's Roast Me?" Period. And, you know, during a whole year where we just couldn't do it. So, obviously, Battlegrounds is kind of more audition-y, and it's harder because it's one-on-one. But now the plan is to go um, do a combine. Uh, Shout out to Ronnie Jordan for the suggestion. Uh, We're going to do a combine. Ronnie Jordan suggested a combine? Yeah, but but like a a roast me combine. I'm just saying, a combine in general. Not (laughs) athletic. For roast, that nigga forty times. That nigga forty times is forty minutes. You, boy, you petty nigga. Listen, nigga said he suggested the combine. I bet he did. You know what's crazy? We though? did it at Wendy's, and I swear it worked here. <laughs> One of the things, and I don't know if you, I, I, I don't know how you picked them, but I know when we did uh, your mama, interviews your mama. What they did, they lined all of us up. Well, they put all of us in a group, mm-hmm. and then they put five people on the wall out of the group. And they just let us go at it. Yeah. And then for the auditions? Per- for the auditions. So when one person started bombing, they would pull that person out, replace them with somebody them. else, yep. and, and kind of do it like that. And that might be something that... And they filmed that, but they didn't air that on the thing. But right. that right there would mm-hmm. be a great open to the season. So and that's, you start yeah. thinking of it like 12 episodes type shit, like with... Um, the show that the music show that they did with T.I. Carter being Chance. Exactly. Mm-hmm. They showed the, the 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 auditions and all of that shit and the prep that's and all the, that. That's the American Idol angle. Say, yeah. Because yeah. in American yeah, yeah, Idol, yeah. I personally didn't like it when everybody was good. I only watched them first few episodes when there was the, the, the hilarious people. So that's the approach I'm taking with this. Like com- the combine will be a recorded sort of American Idol where, you know, we can have guest celebrity judges and we're basically trying to find it's this is gonna be the Atlanta version, and that's going to feed into the 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 new season which we're gonna shoot out in Atlanta so it's I don't gonna think give they're really ready man oh, oh, but well, I mean that's, the, it's, it's, it's cool because now you can see somebody from the audition and root for them all the way into the classroom you know so we getting so we about to go on their turf I think it's dope yep. I think I think if you take the right people too that's gonna be fucking fantastic if you if yeah. CP's available uh, if uh, uh, Boo is available because mm-hmm. uh, Boo Boo held it down I mean Boo was Boo Boo became the the crowd favorite Boo I mean but Boo is always the crowd favorite the mm-hmm. low key right. he is either the crowd favorite or the underdog Boo that shoots. a lot of people are rooting yeah Boo gonna shoot. he gonna shoot hundred percent of yeah. the time yeah. love Boo well, so it might not land to... all the time but yeah. that nigga gonna shoot I think that here's the thing I think that Boo did very well in the battlegrounds because yeah. if if you have a shooter that's like that's like saying put Rambo versus um, John Wick. It's like, well, Rambo got all these bullets and all these guns. <laughs> Rambo has so many right. bullets. Right, it's like, John Wick is better when he's hunting for a nigga. When you stay right here, it's like, yeah. Rambo gonna fuck John Wick up. Mm. That don't mean he's better than John Wick. It just mm-hmm. mean that he got more bullets. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's like, but I feel like the classroom where you have to catch it and the be rhythm. bold enough to jump in, yeah. and then when you jump in, if Another that's beast. whack... Now you don't want to jump in no more. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's a lot to that. Man, I, listen, scary. Uh, MTM said to here has roasted me before. He said I have baby doll hair. Nigga, you know you got baby doll hair. Hilarious. Another reason I kind of got away from the roasting is because when you start looking at the business aspect of it, mm-hmm. like niggas love you for roasting. Niggas will like undoubtedly cr- crown you as one of the kings of roasting, right? Right. But them same niggas won't pull up to your shows. Them mm-hmm. same niggas ain't gonna buy your t-shirts. Them same niggas ain't gonna buy them t- the, the, uh, the, 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 the tickets to the show. I start catering to a crowd that is more mature and has disposable income is gonna support all of my efforts, not just one area of my effort. I agree. And support it in, in ways that are just more than like, nigga, you dope. Because that matters. Like, when you are doing this professionally, like, CP is a dope roaster. But then nigga is an amazing actor. He's a fantastic comedian. Mm-hmm. And if you're not going to support in, in these other areas, then that roasting shit is cool for hood titles and accolades, but that shit ain't going to feed his family. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I had to look at it like that, too. It's like, if I'm going to put effort into roasting, then it needs to equate to sales. If it's not, then I'm going to put effort into these podcasts. I'm going to put effort into right. these these vlogs that I'm doing. I'm going to put effort into the shit that the people are supporting monetarily, Want to see and women don't really give a fuck about you roasting all day. It, it might is, it might be funny. They watching what they it's like good marketing. Like yeah. yeah, it's like but good it's commercials. Like, you know, it was it was great for a springboard. Yeah, but you I don't want to do make a else. living off of that shit. Women right. don't really like a sharp tongue nigga. Not unless they Pay defending attention. them. Right, exactly. Yeah. They don't. They don't. They I don't. disagree. Really? 
Sharp tongue. Well, you know, well, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> it's like you get the point. Swing, 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 swing. But, but <laughs> they don't, you know what I'm saying. Like they like a more laid back type of dude. You know what I'm saying. Like, and you know, I'm the type of nigga that's like, um, I don't, well, I'm gonna say this. You have to know when to pivot too off yeah. the roast and shit. I think that that's very important. I think that, you know, um, you become a one trick pony when you let these people celebrate you for something that you know is only a dimension of your arsenal. I only one lane. So I don't let people gas me. People are like, you're the best. I'm like, I don't, I don't, I really don't give a fuck because yeah. there's nothing you can do. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, I couldn't afford anything when I was roasting. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like, it, it, that's not that. But um, the the thought process that goes into my roasting, I've only wrote a couple of times, right? I know I, I wrote on Battlegrounds. I never wrote in a classroom ever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I wrote on Battlegrounds because I had four episodes to do in that day. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, all right, I got to. You don't want to say the same thing. Exactly. You want to make it fresh. Written, or I don't know who. And I don't... you make it more, you make it more personal when you write and you know who you're facing that day. But when I tell you I had grown ass thugs calling me like, man, I'm so disappointed. I saw you reading off your phone, man. You ain't one of them, nigga. I'm like, fam. Oh, really? That's they don't. They don't understand block shooting. Yeah. Most people will never understand block shooting. Like, we were doing block shooting with Squadcast and, and doing four episodes a day, and we bring the shirts to change, and Kevin's like, why? We're shooting all of this the same day. There, I've lifted the curtain. I've lifted the veil. Y'all know what it is. Mm-hmm. But they only see it once a week, so they be like, oh, this nigga wearing the same shirt he wore from last week. <laughs> Listen. That's funny. I y'all y'all would that. be amazed at the shit that happens in post. Like, all the ADR I'm doing for Supermarket Suite, the episodes are shot. I'm not in the store with them, on set with them. These episodes are shot. Yeah. Leslie has already laid her shit. I'm coming in after the fact at a whole different studio and laying down ADR. I'm laying down my I'm vocals still doing on something. ADR right now. I got something tomorrow. I mean, I, man, me too. Yeah. I got to yeah, do ADR the tomorrow. Is so long. It's oh, long. man. It's long. One episode than is two hours. One episode is just two hours of talking, and I got to do two episodes t- uh, tomorrow and then the next Tuesday and the next Tuesday because we got like a 12 day stretch on the road. Yeah, so right. I got to be able to miss that week. But, man, like, Post production and Oof. movie magic, all that I shit is just. Post. I love, <laughs> I love I watching Netflix post. movies and shit like that, and then hearing when somebody's talking like, "Yeah," and I can't believe he did that. Why would he do that? And then you like, "Oh, <laughs> ADR." They punched him. <laughs> hey, or, or, or anytime their head is turned, yes, and a good ass line come out, like, "Nigga, you said that with your back to the camera." Right? No, you didn't. You know what you happened? That's you know ADR. what well, happened? I mean, a lot of times it's like, too loud on set. Seventy to eighty percent of sound that's recorded on set isn't used. Most of everything is ADR. Really? Which is wild. Yeah, because I mean, you're in so many different environments, and like, if the if you get one car go by, you ruin that take. Ah, they gotta do ADR. That and sucks. it's just they, they have the technology now that they can make it look yeah. so so good. Yeah. That, like, you right. Get the crisp lines as you can. My it's, first ADR was for Insecure, mm-hmm. and it was uh, it was one of the, it was uh, we the shot a lot of scene, outside. Right? Uh, well, that was yeah, one of any them. outdoor stuff. Always yeah, definitely. but this one oh, I think yeah. might have it might have been an outdoor one, but I, I can't remember. But yeah, it was one of the ones with my back was turned. So you know the Wolverine clip that went viral where he oh, was okay. in the, yeah, the, the booth yeah. and he was running through the forest getting all these. Things. But Hugh Jackman was just in a booth like, yeah. and I'm like, yeah. you couldn't like, get that on set. Yeah. The, the, I mean, on set, you got, then he's got to think about doing yeah. all that. And if you're just acting a line, you got to run here slash here do all this, and then right. you got to make all these sound effects too. That's a lot to do. So yeah, I got hit all Not your marks. Not mention stuff. what are the things we ran into. We, we, we had a camp. Um, episode and cicadas. Oh, yeah, what can they do? You're in the woods. You Nothing. can't do anything. Fam, God. I heard my first. I, I heard my first them. gang of cicadas this year. Yeah, <laughs> in yeah. Palm Springs. I was like, yeah, that's oh, the, you talk about a boys' choir. That's yeah. the goddamn boys' choir. Right? I ha- I thought that was electricity growing up. Mm-mm. Yo, mm. listen, we got to do you this fucking. I mean? We got to do this. Um, All right, let's get it. Let's get it. This 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 Did song. We get, this um, intro song. We didn't get any. They didn't put any. Any uh, what's my call is in, and we ain't done. I ain't done not one ad or nothing. I just somebody say transition. Shout out to the C peeps. Hey man, so we gotta we gotta get the um... jump the ad and then we'll do the song. Okay, so let me just. I'm just gonna jump into this ad, guys. Y'all just gonna have to take this. No trans because um... no transition. <laughs> I, I we running out of time, and the holidays are almost here. Yep. and people are always like scrimmaging at the last minute for. For our gift ideas and people are like, Oof, um, I'm doing it now. Should I get cologne or perfume and all that type of right. stuff? Let me tell you something. This is exactly what you should get. All right, everything today is dope stuff, and you guys should really think about this and get this right now. You can do the cologne, you do the gift gift sets, you can do gift cards and all of that type of stuff. But that's stuff that people are going to use, and then it's going to be gone. Mm-hmm. Okay, if you really want something that's going to last the test of time, something that's going to uh, be with people forever, I encourage everyone to look into paint. Your life, yes. okay? Paint your life is amazing. You can take one picture, right? 
send it in to them, and they will hand paint this picture mm -hmm. from a list of artists. They have a, a they have a, an amazing lineup of artists that will hand paint these artists, Fine uh, artists, these pictures. And when I tell you, it looks amazing. And you work with the artists every step of the way yep. to make sure every detail is perfect. We have a picture in our house, Farron and I, uh, when we went to uh, this dinner in Blanc, and we're wearing all white, and I'm holding myself. We look so fucking regal. And every time somebody comes over our house for the first time. They're like, oh my god, what did I get this oh, done? They right don't even the realize it's a hand painting, a hand painted picture right. at first until they get close. Like, oh, this, this is, is a painting. A, this like, isn't a photo. This is a painting. <laughs> and not only that, you could take a picture, like say you and your wife, right? And let's say that you wanted your grandfather in it, but you don't have any pictures with your grandfather. You take a picture of your grandfather. They will place that picture in the portrait. The original photo. The original photo with so, your hands. So it's, it's 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 one of those things where it's a constant talk piece. It's something that people will keep forever. You work with the artist from beginning to end, so every detail is in there. Is something that you okay? Mm -hmm. And I know y'all thinking like, "Oh man, I can't spend that much." It's not that expensive, guys. You would be surprised at what you would pay for something like this. Super fire! You would get a professional so hand painted it. portrait created from a photo, or a, you can get you can get people are getting pets in them. Like people look oh, at pets course. like parts of their family. Of you course. get the pets in them. Dude, you, it is amazing, and it's fast. You get the portrait in as little as two weeks. Mm -hmm. So you got you got an uh, ample amount of time to do this before the holidays mm -hmm. there, and then this is a gift a that will be gift. cherished for life. It's meaningful. It's, per, uh, it's personal. It's forever. Um, it's a forever gift, and you don't have a lot of those type of things. So um, right now at PaintYourLife.com, there's no risk. If you don't love the final painting, your memory, I'm sorry, your money is refunded. Guaranteed. And right now is a limited time offer. Get 20% off your painting. Do it. Did you hear me? Do it. 20% off your painting. That's right. 20% off and free shipping. To get this special offer, text the word internet to 64,000. That's internet to 64,000. Yeah. Text the word internet to 64,000. Paint your life. Celebrate the moments that matter most. I didn't even do any notes. You said that you can work really closely with the artist. Oh, yeah. I, I had no notes. I, I just get, gave a photo yes. of my family with my grandma, and they hit me up, and they said, you want to switch the background? Because it was just in the living room. And yeah. they're like, you want to switch the background? I was like, yeah. yeah that was my only... And then they just put blue in the back, and it's above my fireplace. That's, it, that's exactly what fire. they did for me. They was like, hey, we got this Ferris wheel in the background. Do you want it to be plain? And I was like, yeah, just make it plain. Put the sun right here, all that type of stuff. Bro, I fucking love this picture. That's dope, man. It's, it's really so dope. dope, And bro. it's forever. Well, and because how many it, times do you get like photos that you take digitally printed? That, like, most damn! Most zero. Don't do that damn, it's yes. just, you and take photos for the gram. Yeah, and you be like, oh, I got this picture in my phone, but you never do See it again. It. You print Never this out, you send again. it to them, and now you have something forever. Bro. Not to mention, like, you know, girls out here sending news. Like, don't send me oh, a painted painted nude. Nude. A painted a nude? nude? Yeah. Oh ah, my god. god. Like, you want to stand out? You want to be somebody's wife? Regal? A regal nude? Oh, I'm here to hear for the picture regal of him nudes. And, and he's holding himself. I couldn't, I, I wanted to let you finish the whole thing, but I'm like, why do you have to say that kind of terminology where you're holding yourself? I just got my hand on my chest. Yeah, there you go. Say that. Say that. But holding Look. yourself is like. He's holding, ah, his, holding his cup. Why the hell was on my dick? <laughs> <laughs> I was holding myself. <laughs> All right, so with the intro, CP. Wait, wait, wait. Have, freestyle jingle. That's Ready? what I'm saying. With the intro. Oh, go ahead. Hey, y'all ready? Uh huh. Yeah. Paint yeah. your life. Come on. Come on. Come Paint on. you with your husband or wife. Uh. Uh. Paint your life. Whoa. Yeah. Get a paint that's hella nice. Oh. Uh. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Nice. Yeah. Oh. Just a little musical <laughs> up. Warm we do up. that now. That's okay. the thing we do okay. now. Okay. Jingles. Oh, obviously. Yeah. Um, I'm here jump for in it. on the other jingles. So yeah, with the I, intro, I with the intro, we you know we we try to rhyme anything with scary like damn and that you scary, uh, hereditary. Uh, transitionary, <laughs> non-binary, whatever you can do, Harry, Mary, uh, Larry. You're, you're kind of wasting them all. Those are all my ones. I, I was. <laughs> oh wait, but remember, remember the challenge element. Now we have to try to incorporate one of these words. Yes. Remember. All right. So which one is it? Dysentery. Dysentery or hereditary? <laughs> Where did that come from? We never did hereditary. Never you did say hereditary. that every time. So let's do hereditary. So, okay, there it is. Uh, and so we, we just gonna we just gonna go. Uh, with the uh, old hip hop beat. I got this beat right here. And this from this rapper named Mac. Shout out to Mac. Just got out of jail. Shout out Release to Mac. Man, out of jail, um, man. No Limit. Um, just a dope lyricist, man. I fucking love Mac. And I'm so excited. He was to on be No Limit? Upstairs. Yeah. He was one of the dopest lyricists on, on No Limit. I was listening to Fiend uh, when I was that's out of my nigga. over here. Yeah, you know yeah that's, that's my nigga. Uh, Streets ain't safe. That's my favorite song. So, <laughs> uh, I'm going to do the beat. Pack, take lead. And then CP, hop in with it mm -hmm. wherever you can. And the word we have to use is... 
just try to rhyme in damn no, it. No, is, is it challenge is hereditary? Is it hereditary? Oh, hereditary. Okay, there you go. All right. Or do we should should we get a different one? And no, we no, both I like that. I, I like both of them. No, okay. I'm saying like should we have a different or should oh, we both? Oh yeah, it yeah, yeah. So you should do hereditary. Uh-huh. Okay, and I'll you do dysentery. Okay, cool. Yeah, I like yeah, that. Da dum da dum da dum da dum da dum da dum boom 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 boom. Yeah, it's aggressive, Pat. We on the internet today. Uh-huh. Come on. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, turn my snare up. You're doing the beat like that. I thought you were going to play a Max beat. Okay, there it is. Okay. <laughs> hey. The internet is so scary. I just got here from America. Hey. Laziness is hereditary because I got it from my father. His name is Gary. Hey. Internet is scary. I went on the website to look at my nigga Larry. Looked up some cheats for Legend of the Zelda, and I learned that their nigga has a fairy. Uh. Hey. Hey. Every day I get a little bit more aggressive. <laughs> Learn the lesson. Hey. About to pass it to my nigga CP. He's a frog from the swamp. P. Hey. Thank you, Auntie Pat. I just hear it. Damn internet, you were scary. Hey. Scarier than the nigga Terry. And he just heard you was dysentery. Dysentery. And he ain't having it. It's finna carry. A pistol to your fucking Mary. Go round. When I go round, niggas know it's finna go down. Aggressive. Finna give it to Tahir, but first, hey. Cause this nigga know that he the worst. But he made the beat and that shit hurt. Cause his teeth look like these asserts. Like some suck on certs or some tic tac. Give me motherfucking, get the big back. Get the big back of ribs and the big shack. In the motherfucking shack with the boss. With the sauce. I'm a boss. What it costs. I'm a pay. I'm a play. Say it, dysentery, but I'ma say it. I said Terry, it's scary. The only thing that's scarier than Terry is when he find out that you dysentery. Hey, <laughs> dysentery, dysentery till he got dysentery. I caught a lot of strays in that. And I, I thought you were gonna pass it to him. I was like, okay. I did. He, did say, he did say he did say he was gonna pass it, but I was like, I heard you start the like, beat. I was like, oh, we doing that? Like, doing yeah. this again? <laughs> we used to do that. That was advanced. Yeah, that was. We used to pass lot. the beat and yeah. both rap. What? Yeah. It was a lot, and that was just me and him. We yeah, would just go yeah. back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do that with company, man. That's like, that's like, that's like, you do it playing Mario with, with your little brother all day. You're like, you know what, man? That's rap to make beats, man. Back. You do that with, with your motherfucking <laughs> cousin. Come on, you got to be like, I don't know what he's talking about. We don't do that. <laughs> he's lying. We never do that. I said, what the organ trail? <laughs> Shout out to Sherry Boyd, man. Sherry Boyd was pulled up. On the more mob link up, man. She I will always that. ever be one of my favorite people because she pulled up and Who she that? came Sherry? our way. Sherry Barnes. She's in the more mob too. Hey, Sherry should have been a rhyming word. Ah, Sherry. <laughs> Sherry will be we in the rhyming we can word throw next in week. Sherry. Forget Mary. We're gonna be with Sherry. Sherry Barnes. Hey, Sherry uh, Barnes. And Sherry doesn't drink, but she said when we do the damn and that you scary trip. When we uh we're gonna go somewhere tropical. Uh when we go there, she said she's gonna have a drink. Something like that. See, tell her to practice first. Then nobody got time to be dragging <laughs> Sherry's ass around. Come on, Sherry. Come on, Sherry. Come on. You gotta practice with a shot of wheat. Don't fucking pull up and then you fucked up and now you fucking trip up, Sherry. Start practicing. We gotta hold a hand like, oh, this motherfucker Sherry. Oh, God. Drunk. Damn, damn Hennessy, you ain't, Sherry. Ain't nothing wrong. Ain't <laughs> nothing Hennessey. worse than a goddamn drunk. <laughs> <laughs> For real. All right, so. CP's here. Mm-hmm. Every time CP's uh, on the podcast or just when we talk to him, it seems like CP has like uh, um, a love for like deep conspiracies. He, you have like a lot of cool, weird interests. So my like thing we were just is talking that, about whales. Yeah, I have like a I, anything that requires like information or thought. I'm fucking with that. I think that that's like the nerd in me wants to know about the art environment and the shit that's in it, man. Mm-hmm. Or what they're not telling us. I'm really, really focused on what they're not telling us. Oh, absolutely. Because, because I feel like one of my goals, it may sound funny, I don't know how I thought I was going to do this. I wanted to get really, really famous and then have Barack Obama invite me to the White House, which I know is not going to happen now. And then he walked me in the basement like, here's all the secrets. And I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> just wanna, just you? Just because like, you know cool, what? Like me. You know like, what? You're cool, cool CP. Like me, Jay, <laughs> you're cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, oh, Crip CP, you're cool. You know? <laughs> you're cool. You know? But that's not, you know, like, I just want to. My, my, do you think I, you could take it? Yes. Yes, I do. Because... Like, you would just be... Because we couldn't do anything about most of this. So mm-hmm. you would just have to keep living and just decide if you're going to tell every single person you come into interaction I'm, with. If you watch my comedy, I've already begun to start doing high-concept stuff. 
But that's your your thoughts, right, exactly. not like this so that is means confirmed. That, but I feel like I'm already thinking ahead of a lot of people, and I mm. feel like something like that will validate how weird my mind works. Like, oh, not only that, but it also, I mean, it's kind of like with a comic, you can't or entertainment and artists in general, like you can't perfectly explain everything that's going on in your mind. Right. So a lot of shit you just keep to yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you find a creative outlet, you put it on Instagram, TikTok, something like that. But some and shit a watered down think, version yeah, from what was in your brain. Yeah. Right? So <laughs> it would be really no different from that. You've got this information in, you can't share it, so you just you just hold but it. But isn't it different when it's validated? Because remember, there for forever we were like, there's aliens. There's right. aliens. Mm-hmm. I'm sure there's aliens. And right. then during the pandemic, they the government like, was like, yep. And we were just like, <laughs> what, if Whoa, you're just, what? what if you're just like super disappointed though and you're like this isn't even worth the share but see that's the thing though what I don't think that's the case people, B- people Barack think... Obama aged 30 years <laughs> he, he did that's that's true. True. he knew some shit he knew some shit he went from like your mom's what? secret what? boyfriend to like nursing home patient of the year you know what I'm saying like, they, they only gave him chapters 1 through 3 of the secret book in, on the first Before, presidency he, you don't get all the chapters he until your first presidency he got a few years back when he left though he got a few oh, years yeah. back yeah. oh wait wait you think they give you more after your second like, when right. you win the second election cool four years bro <laughs> who's the guy that knows all of it, though? Because there's people who tell the president everything, but who who tells them everything? The guy who's going to never get unelected. The, like, the guy who's going to be there forever. The guy who's been there through all the presidents. Someone it's who the, does not the, have an election, it's the, it's period. the nigga who, who runs the CIA. Because the CIA be running shit that the Bright House doesn't oh, know yeah. about. Oh, yeah. Or, like, they, they they be like, nah, yeah. the president needs to. Right. He, he he's got need stuff to, know to worry basis. about. The budget right. is Well, he's really crazy. just the face. Like, right. like yeah. he's he's the guy signing everything. But, like, if you think of the government as a whole, it's it's like a whole system. You know what I mean? Like, he's really just like the face but if you think about like all the real real decisions it's probably a private family like you know yeah, what I mean like, some, child, some, some shit like that mm-hmm. those seven families that run everything like I don't even want to talk mm-hmm. about them because I feel like this podcast will be put on a list like why the fuck does this episode only have eight views <laughs> right. Right. The but, fuck look, is going on? but it's three things that I feel like I need to know about that I feel like the government isn't telling us and they're simple. They're things that we already kind of understand, right? And that's the ocean, mm-hmm. ghosts. Yeah. And, um, well, you said aliens, but more or less, like, the fact that they've been walking around us the whole time, whatever, whatever. Great. Like, tall, tall grays, man. Tall grays. Uh, the whites. You heard about the whites? Is that different? That might be the same thing, right? No. The I tall... Thought- Pale tall, white looking tall, dudes. Pale white. Yeah, that's that's I thought, the same like, thing. I thought like the grays was like was like the outfits, like the gray motherfuckers be having that. No, you, you know, might, gray skin, I think. It's you like might be alien, right like because there's a there's, there's a there's a species of the small gray ones with the giant eyes, and right. then there's the species they say that looks like pale white people yeah, that like are walking around our, nail, our naval bases species. right now. Right, but see, here's the right. thing though. So they said that there was a guy in early early government, like probably like around like the JFK times, so not early early government, but like back in the day, who was an alien who brought this suit. And the suit had, like, no seams. They didn't know how he put it on, but it was impenetrable. And they studied this, and they said, like, this was years ago. And they said, just think, they're probably making presidents suits out of this stuff right now. To, for... Bullets still get shot in the Yeah, like, it's, like, it was a material that is, like... And you know how they come out with, like... I think that. Put it like this, I though. mean, nobody's been shot yet. Every so now and then, they come out with that shit where it's, like, the, the new copper fit things that you put on, you're like, where the fuck is this coming from? Mm. Well... Science? Yeah, right, I mean, but science, but like, we're but, making chemicals all the time. Well, I mean, I say this all the time. There's a, there's that video of a like a Canadian minister of defense, or I forget what this guy was, but he went on um, CNN or, or or like like he went on TV and confirmed aliens. Oh, really? We did that, yeah. I mean, we did that a long time ago. But the scary part was it wasn't just as simple as like are aliens real? Yes, it was like. Yes, and there's like 13 species we've been dealing with th- all throughout time, and we've been trading our our resources for technology. And it kind of just like he he started listing the space the species like these are the reptilians, these are the ones that look like white people, these are the small ones with the big eyes that everybody um, describes when they get abducted. And that was surreal because it was just like okay, I was I was ready for a yes, but not the specifics. Let me tell you something. I don't understand how humans created jet engines. I don't do it. I don't. I don't understand. How you explain, I, what? Jet engines. I just. I don't understand it. <laughs> how this fucking thing that's the size of this table, possibly, right? Yeah. Uh, it's keeps the plane up. Keeps a fucking plane up, which is the size of a ship, right? I don't understand. I don't understand keys and locks, nigga. I still don't understand. That's still how the very amazing. Grow the rules <laughs> from the amazing. keys. Push I up under- these things and and I- just. 
Open I, it. I understand them. I don't understand how we got to that point. Like, who thought of all of right. these things Where to was do the this bump one in thing? Our, okay, for example, Hollow Earth Theory. Yeah. Right? Um, and how are they all different? Beings, yeah. Right? Like, everything has to do, if you notice... I love that conspiracy well, theory. 46B? I, 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 I try to, like... I'm open to all of them. I'll watch a Bigfoot documentary, even yeah. if I think it's ridiculous, because yeah. I just like thinking how, knowing what Isn't people think. Isn't that what the most intricate and the most believable, even though it's so crazy? Then you think about shit you think like so? this. Oh, break it down to you. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, Organism 46B is the, quote unquote, the squid monster, right? But then you look at every single alien that's ever been depicted in any kind of media from Independence Day to, I mean, like every, every alien is some kind of cephalopod. Right. Then you look at Predator. Right. Mm -hmm. Cephalopod. Not only was it a cephalopod, but it could disappear. It could change the skin texture. And that's what cephalopods do in real life. But then you have one that's like the king one that can make like um, uh, like toxic water and like 150 feet around it that can control. It could make its body into you. Mm -hmm. Like all of this shit that we've seen in the movies. It's like. Where is that coming from? Where is the yeah. idea? These writers don't know each it's other. It's inspired. Yeah. It's well, inspired by st well, it's real the same stuff. Same thing with like old medieval stories about like dragons. Like who saw? Who was the first one to think of a dragon? And what mm -hmm. did they see? And why did they, they all think, see yeah. dragons? Yeah. Why, and why are they now all consistent? Like why did we think of these things? And why are they? There's some consistency over these like mythological creatures. Who saw it first? Organism like, forty six B. And then you think about Kraken. Right. Like, I hate the fact that it feel like aliens know when we're dumb, so they come around like, ha, ah, you ain't had a word to describe me, bitch. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, I'm just, ooh, you know what I'm saying? Cracking. Ha, ah, who's going to believe you? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> but think about that, though. It's like these old tales, Bigfoots and, um, like, um, megalodons mm. and shit like that. It's like Loch Ness Monster. These all are of that real. Or even, mm -hmm. like, the if you guys have heard of the Nazca lines. They're basically in South America. There are lines that are huge, giant murals they've done of these line architecture, like uh, artwork. If you look it up, that you can only see from space. Right. You can only see what it is from space. Like from the ground, you wouldn't know what it is. What is it mm -hmm. called? What is it the called? The Nazca lines. N a s c a. N a z. Yeah, we got to get z. Mexico, they they had no s's back then. Okay, all right. Everything is you know. like they built these things thousands oh, of years wow. ago before you could see Shit. what they were from the air. That's crazy. Right. So why it's like, who it, are they building these for to see? Exactly. Why who, is it, who was right. going to see or why, why are ancient civilizations... Stop uh, what you're doing. Pause this video. Look up Nazca lines. N-A-Z-C-A-L-I-N-E-S. But it's also like, why are there ancient photos of people in astronauts exactly. suits? Exactly. And, and, and spaceships and planes. I don't and understand. Light bulbs. Like, and maps how of much the stars. Is this, how much of this is human intuition and like just coming up with great ideas? And how much of this is... Like alien evolved. I don't like, think any. I think most of it, because most art is inspired by something. You know right. what I mean? If you, the first person to paint uh, shadows and stuff like that, probably saw the sun making shadows. You know what I mean? Like it's it's always derived from something. That's where inspiration comes from. So it's weird to think of like a caveman just be like. Man, I wonder. I want. I want to just put a nigga in a suit, you know. And then fast forward thousands of years, and it's like that's what the use. suit looked. Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah. But it also makes you think like. They would like us to believe that we're the first civilization with all of this technology. But if you look at like the streets of Egypt, right, and the the pyramids of Giza, mm -hmm. if you look at it from a top view, it's a circuit board. Literally, the whole city is on a circuit board. That's fucked up. Have you ever heard that? I actually just thought yeah, about that. View, it kind of looks like the that. The aerial view of a lot of these ancient civilizations is very interesting to look at the way they structured, like, yeah. even the way they, the Aztecs structured their cities. Like, they had huge, vast cities that were so advanced in that, and it's just like, where did they get all of this And they had put technology. circuit chip or microchip circuit board. Okay. I never all thought right. of that. It Let does look kind of like that. Like, they say that, like, if you take, a, like, a microchip... Are you kidding me? Yeah. Yep. Conductor... Fucking, I mean, it's like, bro. Are you kidding me? Look oh, that's that. crazy. What's crazy is that? how how mm -hmm. yeah. far technology is has advanced in this small amount of time. I mean, what? for humans to be such a like fairly new species, like we're we're fairly we've new. been told that. I mean, compared that, to the though. dinosaurs, we've been on this the earth like this, yeah. this long. But, but like, but we've well, been told that though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's fair. That's fair. But where technology is now, like right now, we, take current. For, for, for instance, right? Current is a technology company that offers banking options, right? This is something that you can sign up online for, all right? You don't have to worry about all the crazy fees, all of that 
the overheads and all that type of stuff. They have no physical location, you know, but you have right? access mm-hmm. to over 40,000 in-network all-point ATMs all across the USS. All right, they help you with helpful spending insights and notifications to track when and where you're spending. It's easy to create a savings goal, including the ability to round up purchases and save extra change. So mm-hmm. you know how you got a couple different companies that do save the change, all that type of stuff. You can do that here. All right, you get direct deposit up to two days early. Boom. And I know a lot of times you think about a bank account and all that type of stuff. You gotta go in. It's gonna take 30, 40 minutes to sign up. This is less than 10 minutes. L- less than 5 minutes, okay? Um, it is amazing. And right now, for a limited time, we partnered with Current to give away $1,000. That's right. $1,000. We're gonna Iraqi. pick four winners to win $250 a piece from this show. Yeah. All you have to do is download the current app and enter our code DIYS and sign up for a chance to win. All right? Y'all want $1,000? That's DIYS during your sign up. Winners will be awarded soon, so don't wait. Do it now. Get the current app or you can visit Mm current.com slash DIYS for full terms and conditions. Listen, this is something different. This is something new. I talked when we did the on board call for current. Mm-hmm. I was like, they were telling me everything, all the benefits. They got two different. Uh, you can sign up for the basic, you can sign up for the premium. But the premium, you get the uh, advanced day direct deposits where you can get it like two days earlier. Um, you get uh, up to a hundred dollars overdraft fee yep. protection. Uh, you get a debit card. You can design it with your own design on it. Um, it's amazing. Like I've never been a fan of like traditional banking institutions because they're all for profit. Right. They. That's why they hit you with all of the transaction fees. That's why they hit you with all of the fees for the overdrafts and all of that type of stuff. It's ridiculous. Why am I paying to get my own money? Right. Why are you charge me all this stuff? You know my money's coming. Tell them. Let's get out of that. All right. Mm-hmm. Go to Current right now. See the difference that you can make. Um, <laughs> they have. I mean, they 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 blew up. They blew up in terms of like. Uh, uh, members in a in a very short amount of time. So I I encourage you guys right now. If you were thinking about switching your institutions or you don't have an institution right now, look into Current. See what they're offering. You guys will yeah, not regret it, and you get a chance to win two hundred fifty dollars of a thousand dollar prize. We'll announce Come the four winners. So go ahead you. and check that out right now. You you know what you just did, bro. That's exactly what happens when I'm looking up conspiracy theories online. A fucking pop up pops up in the view, <laughs> and it's like, "Current, this is a bad." Like, I was looking at fucking dinosaurs. He had, he had no idea what was going on. Yeah, he was like, "Are oh, you doing an ad right now?" Yeah, like, yeah. bro, we talking about some deep shit. This yeah. is the middle. Can you imagine a nigga doing an ad in the middle of church? Yeah, <laughs> I'm out of nowhere. Like, I would be said, nigga. Do you like? Do you like leather Bibles? I'm gonna tell you what. There's a place. You like, what the fuck's going on? Now, hold on. Like we dinosaurs look like dragons. Mm-hmm. And we can admit that dinosaurs were here. Mm-hmm. And we call them dinosaurs because our fourth grade teacher told us to. Right. Oh. Yeah. But it's like, what the fuck? You think dinosaurs might have been dragons? Dinosaurs, I think, I are mean, yeah. the dragons. It's, 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 there's definitely a similarity. Mm-hmm. I never connected those. You know what's crazy? How much stuff that we are told wow. from youth and taught to believe. Like Thanksgiving. And how much of that's it's, untrue? It's that's still, that is still in the curriculum. It's so crazy that you can just grow Thanks up and be and like, by the way, it. that wasn't true. But did we ever give a fuck? No We're doing offense. this on a very specific day. Because yeah. today is Columbus Day slash... But only indigenous white indigenous people today care about that. We just day. care about the macaroni and cheese. And it's, I don't even go to church. It's, not even, it's, not, even it's not even that, day. though. It's the fact that it's like you get out of school and you're like... Y'all really spent time yeah. teaching Basically, me that. It's not even a, it's re- and a rewriting of history. So rewriting of history. Exactly. And they can do that. And they can do that. And that's the thing. Like, it's not even about the caring about it or going to church. It's y'all tested us on this. Yeah. You made sure we retained this spent information. Time. So when we learned the truth, it was like, no, this can't be. Yeah. This can't be because we were taught. Because yeah. as a kid, you're taught that. It's and rewiring. When, 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 Information comes at you and you and it and it's opposing to what you already know. You're immediately going to assume that's false uh, right. because of what you already know. It's right. a defense mechanism that we have a mental. But like, think about it. It's like a factory. Uh, they're like, it's literally like putting kids through this institution to just literally cover up what the happened dirty secrets of and, America. and and make it seem like we were just like like literally like they taught me that some white dude jumped off the boat, dapped it up with a bunch of Native Americans, Buried and had fish. dinner. And I was literally like in second grade, we had plays. I had to dress up Bro, as an times? Indian, an Indian. Yeah. How many times okay. from have you gone India? To turkey with your hand. Oh my god! You know what I'm saying? Like all of this shit. They, but that's still they, a turkey though. What the fuck? A turkey got to do with Indians? Well, I, I mean, it's a symbol. The there were no turkeys. Do... What? Turkey would first of all. 
this dinner that we, we were talking we about, it, no. the <laughs> dinner that we're talking about did not happen like that. But also, they didn't even really eat turkey like that. What? This Why was we, literally a, just all random stuff. We eat to that sell, big dry to fucking sell, evil to ass sell bird. Turkeys. To sell, to sell turkeys. Just like the Got Milk pan- campaign is just to sell milk. But yeah. at least it's Got Milk. Like, like they could have got turkey. That's what yeah, I but the that. whole cow stronger stuff. Bro, start None a fucking that. Turk fillet and let me go there. <laughs> you know I would absolutely go to a Turk yes, fillet. Like turkey, turk fillet. Turkey yeah. nuggets? Yes. How have we not had turkey nuggets by this time? no fucking fake ass holiday Turk fillet. Open on Sunday. Wait, wait, wait. It wouldn't by now because turkey fillet only sells around Thanksgiving. And yeah, why, all year why is chicken yeah. the only thing that gets nuggets? Yeah, we can have brisket nuggets, man. rib yeah, nuggets. Yeah. Yeah. We can have eagle nuggets, cheaper. rib eagle, nuggets. Eagle nuggets. I'm not trying to eat no parrot eagle nuggets. nuggets. Spiro nuggets? Okay, parrot nuggets was... Oh, man. You're gross. What know. do you mean? Mm-hmm. It's probably, probably gaming. Delicious. It's probably, probably gaming. gaming. What? Probably some deep fried voice box of one of them motherfuckers? Hilarious. Voice box? <laughs> some hey. deep fried voice box? I'm not doing this shit with you. Y'all trying to do some conspiracies? Yes. Yes. Let's well, go. Here. Let's yeah. go. CP's here. I want to do some conspiracies. Let go. Can we, right. can, can we stay ad free? Do we? Do no, we, no, no. Do we, nobody coming at work. Oh, perfect. There. Okay, because we're going to go a little long. We started a little late, and we didn't do ads for like 30 minutes. Any more minutes, ads, so Any more ads coming? I got two more. So okay. I'm going to slide can you, them in. Can you just tap me? So I'm that I'm not. No. I might, okay. if, if, it's, if possible, <laughs> if, the, if you and the Scary Squad is down with it, I might have to do, I might have to go at four for like 10 minutes. Okay. For a call that I, I know said we I would break do. I thought we'd be done. <laughs> um, but listen to this. I got three crazy ass stories, and only one of them is false. Ooh. So I'm gonna tell you guys all of them. We're gonna talk about all of them, and then you guys have to guess which one is not true. But they're okay. all like, what? Okay, y'all ready? This, this right. fall. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, the first two is about is the theme is crystal. This first one is literally um, called Aquaman crystals. Okay, so. Scientists think that there is something called an Aquaman crystal that can support underwater breathing. Okay? Let's get into it. Um, There are things called Aquaman crystals, and uh, this can potentially give you the ability to breathe underwater. Researchers at University of Southern Denmark have developed a crystalline material that absorbs high concentrations of oxygen like a sponge. Um, and just a handful of the material can pull all of the oxygen from a room. So, first of all, that's scary as <laughs> Can you imagine? That's... Throw two crystal dice in the room and suffocate everybody in that <laughs> Sweet. Man. And you're like, <laughs> Dude, if they weaponize that and just drop it on the city. Oh, you know that's next. Once it's discovery, then weaponized, then public use. <laughs> that's literally like the, the, the order. But it says... Uh, COVID crystals? <laughs> <laughs> it says that the... Um, uh, researchers say that uh, the crystals are capable of extracting oxygen from water also. Uh, then the oxygen is then stored for later use. So it can be thrown into a room, like you said, takes all the oxygen out of a room. But if you do that in water, it can take all of the oxygen out of out of water. That's damp red. I've seen the commercial for damp red. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Stupid as hell. I think this one might be false. Can, can, I, can we guess? No, oh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me, let me say the whole thing. Okay, so when the material is saturated with oxygen, it can be compared to an oxygen tank com- uh, containing pure oxygen under pressure. The difference is that this material can hold three times at, um, as much oxygen as the material. So when the com- crystals are exposed to heat or areas with low levels of oxygen, the crystals are able to release their stored oxygen. So it basically has it on reserve. Um, um, they said that the release, um, in this release that researchers, reacher, researchers are investigating whether this oxygen release can be light activated as well. So while researchers still have their work cut out for them, uh, when it comes to turning these crystals into an underwater breathing apparatus, the possibilities are amazing. In addition to benefits for the dive community, these Aquaman crystals also have the potential to replace air tanks used by cancer patients to sustain breathing. So that's oh, probably shit. the better ta- uh, yeah, reason for until, it. Until the cancer patient want to yeah, leave. Yeah, I feel like it can't be a super fast thing, too, I don't think. Like, if you threw the rocks in the room, it wouldn't be the oxygen's gone like that. Mm-hmm. You're probably going through a process that breaks right. it down. Right, right. But that's because I'm right. thinking that... Okay, but you could oxygen, probably accelerate that if you know yes. how to do it. Yeah, you throw yes. four of them in that bitch. It's a different story. Yeah. However, oxygen is an element. Yeah. Water is a compound it's element. A, it's a yeah. multi... It's so hydrogen you can and probably right. do so and undo all that stuff. You take the oxygen out of the stuff. water, you just There's have hydrogen, hydrogen now. Everywhere. There's probably bubbles that come up, would come up, that be the release of the hydrogen would be in a form of air, which would be a bubble. Right, I feel like the oxygen is heavier than, than the hydrogen. That's what makes the, the water. If you take the oxygen out, it's just gas. Yeah. 
No? Damn. I feel that. Okay, so that's story one. Mm-hmm. Story one. Story two. Potentially, there ha- may be... So you guys know the B- Bermuda Triangle, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The Devil's Triangle. So obviously, planes, boats, all these disappearances, all this supernatural um, folk folklore around this. Now they're saying that now that we have the technology to really like go in there and explore, scientists may have found a crystal pyramid underneath. So basically, um, f- just to just to uh, prep you guys, pyramids are weird because a bunch of ancient civilizations that had no contact with each other for some reason all made pyramids at the same time. Yeah. Same time, di- uh, also different times, but like same time period, they had no contact with each other. For some reason, they all felt the need to build a pyramid, and it was always uh, religiously based. It wasn't like a building or something like that, right? And they even went a step further to be like, okay, the pyramids of Giza, most pyramids that were built that are huge and still around are also specifically aligned with star formations. You know, like the the pyramids of Giza are right in line with specific uh, stars. Mm-hmm. There's even pyramids um, uh, in, uh, oh, Stonehenge is even connected yeah. to a star uh, a star like cluster. The, the, Aztec pyra- the Aztec pyramids in there. Mexico. Like, yeah, right. The so A, how the are. hell did they just walk around and be like, okay, here. You know what I mean? First mm-hmm. of all, that's the big thing. And then the, the second thing is like, why pyramids? And then three, why are there like other unknown pyramids? Like there have been aerial footage that um, scientists have found that um, found pyramids in Antarctica. Antarctica, yep. And, and uh, Buzz Aldrin, the dude who was second on the moon, had some random trip to Antarctica. Antarctica is my favorite conspiracy theory. This is theory, Hollow Earth by Theory. The Hollow Earth Theory, right? Hollow Earth, you know, yeah. no, no, no. There's a whole, that's my favorite conspiracy theory. And Antarctica, the, the fact that Nazis went there for some reason and no one knows why, and there's just all and this they found weird a tropical stuff. Tropical island. Literally, like <laughs> Buzz Aldrin went to Antarctica and then released a message. I don't know if it was a tweet or a letter. It said some crazy stuff like they're there. You know, you everybody should be f- cr- like crazy scared, and then deleted it. There's like a whole bunch of stuff around that, but for some reason, pyramids are linked to not only stuff in um, history that we know, but a lot of stuff that we don't know. And there's like you know the, the theory of Atlantis. There is a theory that there is a crystal pyramid um, in the 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 Bermuda Triangle. So it says that obviously the B- B- Bermuda Triangle is known for a series of mysterious incidents, such as the sinky, sinking of a Navy cargo ship in 1918. Uh, paranormal enthusiasts claim that the area is cursed. Um, you know, UFA, UFO fans have started sharing something that might prove them right. A report of a huge crystal pyramid under the sea. Um, they're saying that Dr. Meyer Verlag, an oceanographer, discovered a giant uh, crystal pyramid using sonar. The pyramid was found at a depth of 2,000 meters. Um, it said that uh, scientists could also determine that the giants are made of crystal-like substances, so it may not really be that. Um, but it says, you will be surprised to hear this, but the pyramids are three times bigger than the Great Pyramid of Cheops. Never seen that before. But it's bigger than the ones we have on land. Um, it says uh, Dr. Meyer uh, Verlog um, says that the, uh, basically there's a bunch of mysteries around why this would be here. Um, but it says that um, there may be a rational explanation after a Norwegian study that found a series of craters on the seabed, which they believe were created by bubbles of meth- methane popping under the seabed. Interesting. You said one of these conspiracy theories you said is false. Yeah, one, one is false, false right? Yeah, one, 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 one of them was true. Off well, one top. of them is true, and two one of them false. No, no, one of them, one no, of them one, one, one out of the three is true. So, so he said two, okay. so one of them so has to be true. By, so now and that, that is one. super feasible. Anything dealing with what they found on the bottom of the ocean. Y- y'all hear about that big extra Europe they found? It's extra, extra Europe? An extra piece of Europe. They found it underwater. You guys can Google this. They found another, like, a big-ass mass of yeah. land that, that essentially sunk. And they're saying maybe this could be the uh, city of Atlantis. Atlantis. Right? But it's huger than it. It's way bigger than it. This is a fucking piece of Europe Jesus that Christ. is underwater. And that makes sense because sea levels ra- raise and lower all the time. And if you think about it, they, they're saying that California or Florida will be underwater pretty oh, yeah. soon. Very soon. So it's like, think about it. If a, th- a thousand years from now, people are like, oh, the ancient you know, land of California. Like... If it happens, it happens, and that's how people will yeah. start talking about it. People like a folklore. People talk about crypts so elegantly. Where well, there were the crypts, see, nah, I just right? There were crypts there, you know, but that's crazy. ancient gangs and shit. Yeah. 
All right, so third story. Hold on one second. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm looking up this 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 ancient. I mean, the, well, the land. Well, one of them's false, so don't you can't be looking up stuff. No, no, Why not? Europe. 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 I was talking about the Europe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I, I wanted to see look this up the information because because you, you want the images. Oh snap! You're right. You're right. 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 My bad. My bad. Because this is that's crazy. It's crazy to find out all of this stuff on when we're doing these shows. Because I never, I never even heard about the Greater Andrea. Mm -hmm. Adria. Adria. Oh, the size of greater Greenland. Adria. The size of Greenland is underwater off the coast of the southern coast of Europe. And there's and some stuff the north on there? coast of Africa. Wow, that's mm -hmm. says to be about 140 million years old. The and there were just people walking around and shit. Mm -hmm. And that's what's crazy because we're even discovering in America a lot of man-made lakes were over, like, ta full towns that were, like, full of black people or Native Americans Central that Park? white people oh, yeah. either killed yep. off or... Re Central Park, yep, that's a big one. But there was, like, a, 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 bu like a, a, a bunch of them that started coming out where it's just like, hey, you know this lake right here? Oh, what, what was the, what's the haunted lake? That's, like, um, one, uh, 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 a famous area. lady. It's not Lake area. A famous lady just that. died there. Um, oh, you talking about... Um, she, her, she's, with, she's with her son? Mm hmm. Uh, you talk about um, Lake Lanier. Oh yeah, it's like Lanier, Lanier or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, they're saying that that was literally. If you go down there, there's trees and like a town because it was a black town that white people were just like, it you know what, y'all doing too good over here. Probably broke a dam or something like. Yeah. That. Ran them out and then basically just filled it with water. So there's just like lakes that people play at and jet ski at. That was literally a town of people just like you know thriving and stuff. But then you know a group of white people would come in and just like you know. Run Decimate them out, it. and then now it's Ooh, a, now it's a, a land park. That's so crazy! Lake like all Vegas. of this. No, of they this... say that like people have felt hands and shit grabbing them because it's like there's a whole bunch of dead people down there. All <laughs> of this new information coming out. I mean, obviously thanks to the internet and other thing, and people just being able to share information, like right. the information about Quip. Okay, normally when you brush your teeth. You just you just in there. You just aimlessly brushing your teeth. You don't know how long you're doing it. You just you you're just doing it, right? Because yep. you were told to do it. Well, Quip has changed the toothbrushing method. Okay, tell Quip, em. you press a button, it's electric toothbrush, and it literally vibrates the entire time that you're supposed to be brushing your teeth. Okay, I love Quip. One, because it tells me how long I'm actually brushing my teeth. Also, it sticks to the mirror. So I remember every time I walk in there to brush my teeth. Oh, yeah. I have one for home, and I also have one for travel. Uh, and because it sticks to the mirror, I never forget it. Because I've definitely forgot toothbrushes, toothpaste, all of that type of stuff while I'm on the road and traveling and things like that. But Quip is so... New age, you change your, uh, you can sign a subscription and you get the toothbrush, uh, the, the, the heads of the toothbrush sent to you automatically. Uh, it's time sonic vibrations with 30 second pulses to guide a dentist recommended two minute clean. It's lightweight, it's sleek. Um, there are no wires and no bulky chargers or anything to weigh you down. Oh, yeah. You replace the battery when it needs to be replaced and you keep it moving. The multi use travel cover that doubles as a mirror mount uh, is amazing for less clutter. Uh, and reusable handles, handles in a range of sleek metal hues. Um, I have my, I, my one at home is like like white and green. The one that I take on the road is like all black. Boom. Super sleek, super amazing. I love it. You guys should check it out. And also, it's a great holiday gift. You know what I'm saying? Like hygiene, personal oral hygiene is big. Yep. Okay, don't think because oh we've been gosh. wearing masks for the last month and I mean last You're year and a half, two years. You're not safe with these masks. Yo, you, you keep you, your you breath will turn okay. nose deaf, but everybody else around you can smell your breath. All right, so this, this is, is a great a great uh, gift. For the uh for the holidays, <laughs> you can check that out right now. Um, they also offer other things. You got refillable gum that's sugar free. They also offer refillable floss that replaces over 180 disposable picks with every uh, refill. Uh, they got refillable mouthwash that's a four time concentrate that's good for you and the planet. So you got tons of options right now. Okay, and electric toothbrush is starting at just twenty five dollars. You won't be paying through the teeth for better. Oral hygiene. So right now, getquip.com slash DIYS. That's right. Getquip.com slash DIYS. And then your first refill at getquip.com um, is completely free. So go to so first refill free at getquip.com slash DIYS. G E T Q U I P dot com slash DIYS and get your first refill for free. Yeah. You understand me? Holla at them. You quip, a, quip, quip. You see a refill. Quip, quip, quip. <laughs> I don't like. I don't like your ad. Quip, quip, don't, quip. Don't you didn't that. like just it. Let it go. No, no, no. I love the ad. How you read it, you know. But it's just like you. Refill. You just, 
He just be like, you know, and that's what I feel about the same way people, these people are under this water and they dead. Just let it quit. When you brush your teeth, I'm like, oh, hey, hey, that's a that's a talent, <laughs> sir. Yeah, I, I do I do agree. That's how but I have no. to. Okay, so are we done with that third the second one? Yeah, yeah. I okay, mean, so do you have anything to say about it? Or you oh, want to I mean, do the third? I have a lot to say about it, but I want to wait. What's the third one? No, you don't want no, no. Okay, tell, okay, me okay. You, tell me what you think. So here's Crystal the thing. pyramids. I think that whatever is going on, like Everything that we do in this world is to recreate these energies, right? So let's say, like, you want to create a time machine, and okay. you are, or, or you want to make a portal, right? You end up have the portals, but that portal is nothing. There's no brand new energy, mm-hmm. so you're really harnessing pieces of energy that you need to create. So there's always an organic source of everything that we can think of. There's an organic source for that. Mm-hmm. It rains diamonds on Jupiter. If you wanted to send a space thing up there and get a, a scoop up a bunch of diamonds, in that world, diamonds aren't shit, obviously, mm-hmm. right? A lot of worlds don't have water. So it, 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 it rains water here. Imagine on that world, the, their wife wears a little bubble of water on her finger because, like, this is water. He loves me. It's just different. <laughs> There's, there are no new elements. It's just that certain environments create elements and create energies differently. Mm. I said that to say that it's like things don't just disappear. Right there was a, and I can't think of the. Um, there was a Navy experiment where they where, where, where they made a um, a ship disappear. You guys heard of this one? Mm-mm. Which one? I can't think. It. They made the ship disappear for the a couple Philly. minutes, but when it came back, all the people were inside the, the ship. Philadelphia experiment. Philadelphia experiment. They made a couple movies about that. Right. Then they made the mm-hmm. one where Wait, the ship came I've, back. I've heard of that. They tried to do like a secret cloaking device during mm-hmm. World War Two, I think, yeah. and like it went wrong. And like I, I don't know if it's actually happened. I just know that's what the movie they says. They tapped into this energy. So what happened was they they wanted to be like this. Imagine that we're at war, mm-hmm. and I can drive an invisible boat right up to your shores and then attack. Mm-hmm. Using cloaking. Now they could have used mirrors or whatever, but they wanted to use like an energy field that would basically deflect radar. Because that was a big thing in World War II, right. radar. And mm-hmm. all that. But what they did was they made the ship disappear for a couple of minutes. Trace gone. When it came back the first time, the soldiers, when it rematerialized, they were merged in the ship. So their bodies were like in the wall, coming mm-hmm. out of the floor, a foot coming out, and because it was just atoms that got re, you know, range, like, yeah. Then, I think it was Einstein who was working on this with them. They said, let's up the juice. And I think they lost a ship for like years. And it came back to that spot like 40-something years later. What's the name of this one? The Philadelphia Philadelphia Experiment. Experiment. What I'm trying to say is this. The reason why I believe this is because the Bermuda Triangle seems to have energy there that we've been trying to recreate for different reasons. Mm -hmm. That seems to be a natural source. And just like the first thing you said was the Aquaman crystals, which I don't agree 100% with because a crystal, how can it store something? How can you get anything off of it? How can they even hope to harness it other than put it inside of a tank with the energy, the the oxygen inside of it? Anyway, but the reason why that's a good one is because people understand the power of crystals. People understand Mm -hmm. the power that a crystal can harness, and therefore... If this is a crystallized pyramid, then the power that it could probably harness is crazy, and this could literally be a fucking portal to another world. Mm. I think that... That's what I think. I think that there's portals to other planets here. People go there, and, and they can't get back for whatever reason. They might only, only be going for a couple minutes, like manifest, but to us, mm-hmm. they're going for years and years and years. We mm-hmm. never see them again. They're missing. To us, they're dead. Right? Like, time travel exists, and it has, it has something to do with light years. You can come out of this planet, go light years to another place, and it might take you five years. You come back, it's been 50. Yeah. So, you know, it's like... That thing is... That that still blows my mind. You're right. Space that. travel with, like, compared to actual time yeah. is just like, God damn, Einstein, Einstein was telling the truth. Yeah, and then, <laughs> and then you think about this, though, like... We don't know what's at the bottom of the ocean, and I think that if you get down there, it might be it's something pretty messed else, up. like it's a pretty whole messed other up. civilization. Well, mm-hmm. I think so, world, too. If you look at any of the species of fish that live down there, they're right. completely Angler different fish. And they, yeah. they be washing up, and, and they have, they're either, like, invisible, or they have a way to create light themselves, and that's just, yeah. like, on the scratching the surface, you know? And I almost feel like the fish that we know, the dolphins and whales, and that, what if they're, they're birds? Yeah. Cause they're oh, because they're in the air? They're in the sky, quote-unquote. I just, I just literally 
did some research on that and did a video on it because it's like somebody on Twitter uh, saw a video I did and said like, what if fish that get caught tagged and thrown back like that's their version of an mm-hmm. alien abduction oh, it's 100%. Mm-hmm. you know what i mean like ha- uh, this weird species us with hands pulls them out of the ocean tags them with something which is like a probe and then just sends them back and if they have the intelligence they would probably go back to their school of fish and be like nigga yeah <laughs> you know, it's always little fish like, 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 like cat <laughs> Angle but that's fish. us. That's all the people who yeah. are like abduct. You got abducted? Yeah, fucking right. You know, angler fish. They look. They look like they're about this big mm-hmm. with the thing over them, right? Look up. Angler fish are about the size of a fucking Volkswagen Beetle. Oh yeah, they're big. Oh, they're really? huge. They're that, that big. big? They can I never get knew. really, really yes. big. Wait, really? They're that yes. big? I didn't know they were that big. I thought they were like regular no, fish yeah, size. Like basketball. <laughs> no, they could be the size of a fucking Volkswagen Beetle. Angler fish mm-hmm. size. Mm. That's oh, a lot. Images, That's a... Images. Is there one next to a human though? Oh shit! Yeah. Damn. Oh, that's a that's a real one. That's a real one. That's an angler. How fish. big is the largest angler? Yo, fish? can you send that to Keenan? I feel like they gotta see <laughs> this. Yeah. That's ridiculous. I I literally thought that they were like the size of like a, a big fish. Could eat you. Wow. They're already really scary. Like mm-hmm. the fact that. There's a fish with a flashlight. Like, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Not even a flashlight, though. Uh, one, a one of them old, it's like, slave oh, it's a lure. lanterns. Like, it's like, 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 who the hell is in my ocean? He flexes it like a muscle and it yeah. just moves around? Nah, Who's fam. in my ocean? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's fucking crazy. A big-ass oil lantern. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy? With all of, the, with all of these conspiracy theories and, and, and all of these myths, potential myths and all of that, it's crazy to think that people still think guys don't care about skin care. No, That's a myth, we do. guys. We, we do. absolutely do. We care about how we look. We care Come about on. how we smell, which is why I use use Curology. I use Curology faithfully every day, every morning, every night. Mm-hmm. I use the wash. I use the. They have a daytime moisturizer in the daytime, oh, yeah. and they have a nighttime mo- moisturizer. It feels crazy to say I have a face regimen with Curology, but we got see to. the results. The Cl- frackles are frackling. You Clear skin me? out here. I gotta protect my ginger heritage, and I do it with Curology, guys. If you've been opting out of skincare, it is time to get with it. Okay, don't be left in 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 the darkness when we are starting to shine right now. Okay, right. this is our don't time hate. to get it together. All right, Curology makes skincare effortless. They create a custom skincare formula for your skin goals. All right, plus they've got cleansers and moisturizers oh, yeah. that are easy on your skin and super easy to use. Everything ships right to your door. Uh, your first 30 days are free. You Come heard on. right. First 30 days are free. You just have to cover five bucks for shipping and handling. Sign up for Curology in minutes by sharing your skin type and your skin goals. And your licensed dermatology provider uh, can create a custom formula made just for you. And when I tell you, they're going to ask you everything like, uh, are you a naturally oily person or you're a person that sweats? What are your goals? Do you want to you know, have a... Uh, um, a better skin quality. You oh, want to yeah. have a shinier skin. They're going to ask you all that type of stuff. And just be honest about it. Mm-hmm. This ain't like the doctor when they be asking you, like, hey, so how much do you drink? <laughs> nah, no, we ain't doing all that. Be honest and tell them what you really want. If you're a sweaty person, tell them that. You got oily skin, tell them that. Because the, the formula they're going to create is going to be based on your, an- your answers. If you got dark spots, you want to get rid of that, tell them all of that type of information. They got... Other amazing products that you can also subscribe with. They got an acne body wash, uh, emergency spot patches, so you can keep uh, keep it plain, keep it simple, or you can get a little more in depth with it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I love Curology. Like I take it on the road with me. I also Are you have some one today? That, like yeah, I take I take it on the road with me. I also have one at the crib that's just like that's a stationary one. That moisturizer. Listen, though. man, I'm telling you, fellas, it's time for us to take our rightful place on the skin care throne. Mm-hmm. Do it today by signing up for Curology, and like I said, you get your first thirty days for free. All right, Ooh, you get the thirty day trial you? for free. All you have to do is why pay five dollars for shipping handling. So go to curology.com slash DIYS to unlock your free thirty day trial. Again, that's curology C U R O L O G Y dot com slash DIYS to unlock your free thirty day trial. All you have to do is pay five dollars for on. shipping and handling. Trust y'all me. y'all ask us to drop the the skincare regimen all the time anyways. So yeah. we we doing it ad, ad in the ad version. Versus skincare, and next thing you know, dude is going to the OBDYN. 
Obi. Obi dermatologist. Dermatologist. It is. Yeah, there is a yeah. There's a male doctor out there. For what? Open Vaginas? Them, open them balls up. But I see, here's the problem right here. <laughs> <laughs> open these nuts up. Let me check these yeah, nuts. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> 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 That's how they do is juggle your <laughs> 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 And we be like, yay! If your doctor's doing that, there may be a lawsuit involved. A lawsuit, for sure. Depending on how she look. <laughs> <laughs> she. <laughs> All right. All right. Three, third story. The third story right now is... Um, a woman, you know what? Let me let me read this the right way because this this doesn't have the 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 engaging uh, title that I need. Okay, so this this is based off of a woman who gave birth to three children. Okay, they tested these children's DNA and found out that none of it was hers. I read this fucking story, so I know this one is true. Fam. Despite being monitored mm -hmm. while she gave birth, mm -hmm. she was charged with benefits fraud. Yes. Which means that someone was in the room when she passed these babies through her vagina mm -hmm. and still charged her with benefits fraud until it was discovered that she carried two complete sets of DNA. Interesting. What does that mean? She she. She's Com a fucking android. She's an alien. She no, she's carried an alien. two she people's pregnant. DNA. She got pregnant by Doctor Manhattan. She uh, <laughs> she was not the father. She was not the mother of the children. She passed is through this the her. Fake one? No, uh, this I, is real. No, I read I'm this. I read this she a couple days ago. Like so I don't know. One of these, two of these is false. And well, I don't know. I don't know because Snopes could tell you a true story and this then say true. at the end that it's false. So yeah, it true. depends. True. This could be a fake well, story. Well, and most of these are probably derived from some sort of truth. So I heard, I, First I of all, well. listen, every time a white woman news. give birth to a surprise black baby, it got to be some bull. Well, I don't even... <laughs> listen. Listen, Charles. I swear to God. That is crazy. Well, have you heard about the Nigerian family that uh, gave birth to a, a, a white, blue-eyed baby? But you do understand yeah, that what they say that that can happen. The way gen genetics yeah, work. No, no, no. That's what, that, that's what they... That's what they figured out with like science. Like that was actually that. Like obviously, if that was born, you'd be like, "This bitch cheated." But you know what they say though? They say that in original, those babies were cast and they were given to some people that lived in the mountains of Caucasus, and they would let those kids grow up as Caucasians. Is that? That sounds fake. I know Look the Caucasus Mountains is a joke that is used a lot. Right. But <laughs> with uh, slink. Caucasian. That, that basically like. They would give all those babies But that would have that would have that implied that all white back, people. Like, Remember us, motherfucker? Remember us? That would imply that all white people are just albino versions of other races. Well, now when they start doing it to them, so I mean, think about the first fucking Murrow Frenchie. Like, what the fuck is the spots? So next thing you know, it's like put it with another spot one, eight more thousand. <laughs> I I just think that adds to white privilege. Like I think that white is its own thing, but if there's also a rare know condition. That they're really black. They're gonna take over. Yeah, but fucker, think about Black Lives Matter. Think about to... albinos, though. Like even in, with animals, like every animal, every species, there is a mutation where they just come out white. Even though white people are their own thing, you could still have a moose well, there come a, out as so, just straight up so white. There are albino. There is albino, and then there's white. It's I gotta not tell the same you for thing. this. When Albino was, is the lack of got, pigment. Yeah, it's when you've got white hair, white skin. Right, it's like, lack it's of like pigment. Super, super pale. Albinos right, right, right. are a little yeah. bit creamier than white people. Yeah, <laughs> little but bit creamier. It's like a it's like a cup of white people coffee with extra creamer. Yeah, yeah. but wait a minute. To hear just chill out. To hear just Google. You said chill out. Chill out. To hear just said chill out. Google redheads. Just Google redheads. How many people that have red? And he found out how rare he well, is. Yeah, <laughs> I that nigga checked his own rarity. I wanted to, I wanted to get the numbers right because I already knew, like we, we, we make up less than two percent of the global population. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga checked his rarity. I'm rare, rare nigga. I'm an, He's I'm, rare. He's I, I, I'm, an, I'm an endangered species, damn near. So, are you like a dark skinned albino? <laughs> that nigga uh, said. Is that kind of what it is? I'm he guessing. heard. He heard us talking about albino mooses and was like, "Let me check my rarity. Let me see <laughs> <laughs> how common is <laughs> to here." <laughs> uh, wow. I'm low key hating because I know that I, there's nothing about me that makes me rare. <laughs> that would be yeah. 50% of the population. There's nothing. Like there's nothing about anybody in this room besides <laughs> to hear that makes well, us I'm, rare. Well, I'm left-handed and that's only like 13. Okay, left yeah. left-handed. Left okay, I, I got nothing. My eyes are huge. No, that don't count. <laughs> that don't count. 
No. I'm 20 20 vision and they're huge. If I had to wear glasses, my, my dick is like, six feet. I'm not better than anybody. That's, that's six feet? That's, nah, that's horrible. It's yeah. not. Nah. Nah. That's horrible. Yeah, yeah. You, that would be that's terrible. That's a tumor, my yeah, boy. That's horrible. That's I've, like, I've, I've, I've gone on. They nah. said, they you can never get a pussy. Like, no, nah, I'm okay. <laughs> Thank you for dinner, Patrick. <laughs> that is not true. <laughs> do Thank not, you for dinner, Patrick. Do not slide in my DMs thinking that that is true. That is not true. They say gingers with blue eyes are the most rarest people in the world. Redhead blue eyes? Yeah. Oh, I'd make a wish if I met that nigga. Yeah, I bet so. You fucking turn. Area, of course, <laughs> 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 Fire and ice. <laughs> I make a fucking wish. Jesus Christ. Only one million of them in the world. That's well, you are only 140 million. How you know? Million. Do I have a little family reunion every year and have like it? <laughs> I, we do. I'm not telling you, nigga, you ain't coming. Oh, that's mm-hmm. fucked up. Mm-hmm. Fairy, if you want to know where to here it goes once a year. <laughs> <laughs> you come back with that one extra freckle. <laughs> 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 Gotta be my cousin. All right. So let me get into this story. Uh, this was a woman named Lydia Fairchild. Cheating ass bitch. When did they do the DNA test and figure this out? Oh, okay. So, okay. So she was a proud mother who faced some of the most unique and unusual challenges. Uh, she literally um, gave birth to three triplets. people. So triplets. Three people that did not have her DNA. Uh, did they all have the same DNA themselves? I'm not sure. One second. So Fairchild was unemployed and applying for public assistance in the state of Washington. Um, and as a part of the process, everyone in her family had to be tested to prove they were all related. Okay, so that makes sense. It was a little bit intrusive. But... Um, The Department of Social Services contacted Fairchild and wanted her to come back for another meeting. She thought this would be a routine meeting, but it turned out to be something way more. Uh, When Fairchild found herself in the middle of an interrogation where she was being asked to prove her identity. Now, to give birth and then just be like, all right, yeah, this is my family. And then to be called back in for like interrogation, like, is this really your family? It's pretty wild. So now she's a suspect in a crime. Mm. She came in for the meeting with the Department of Social Services and was immediately being interrogated by them, drilled with question after question. She didn't understand what was going on or why it was happening. Imagine going through your entire life knowing who you are, knowing uh, you have never done anything wrong, and now suddenly you're being questioned about your identity. Uh, She only applied for state assistance because uh, she was unemployed and needed help. But I don't know where she was being made out to be the criminal, a criminal of some sort. Bitch got two DNAs and you can't find one job? Bullshit. (laughs) (laughs) So the mandatory DNA tests uh, the family took as they sought assistance were about to rock Fairchild and her family to the core. The the results of the test proved that Fairchild's boyfriend was indeed the father of their children. And yes, all of the children were related. So they were related to each other. But unbelievably, according to the test, she was not the mother of her own children. So the father checked out. The siblings checked out, but she was not the mother, which is the most confusing part. That's never the part that's argued about. Um, so she's certain this, this was a mistake. Um, she said that she carried those children and delivered them. They went through the pains, ups and downs with them, but the DNA tests are 100% right, and they don't lie. So, so the only way for that to have happened would be someone to take someone else's egg and put it in her. In her, which is like, when did that happen? Yeah, and why would you do that for any procedure. type of game? I call bullshit because when is the last time somebody checked the DNA of the mother? Like, why would you even do that? Why would public assistance... Usually no, no, no. That, yeah, usually they don't, but I'm just saying, in the case of her whole job... They had to prove the the but who relation. Would have, who would have to prove that? But that's what I'm saying. They tested the other people first, and then tested her to see if they were connected. It wasn't but like you see what I'm saying. Like who would do that? That's like saying like, man, how can I give you something? It, it's kind of like I don't know if redundant is even the right word, but it's like, but I mean, because it's so it's, rare, it's just the so matching much, of that's it. So much that to make that happen in a way that like would make sense would take so much legwork to like first you have to impregnate someone, and then you have to take right. the egg. Make sure, and like we don't know if it's gonna split into three. I'm assuming they're identical twins, so that means the egg splits into three. But you have to nah, take that, then put it in. These kids ain't the, twins. These kids are like different ages. Yeah, oh, I don't wait, think wait, they're. I don't so think they're twins. Three, so, so, so she didn't have them at the same time. She's had three. Yeah, kids but they they years. all checked out in being related to each other and the father. So she had three births at different times, and none of them were related to her. Is what you're saying? Either, I, I'm not hundred percent sure, but either way, it seems like she gave birth three children that didn't have her TNA and they were like what the fuck can I tell you that's like a mastermind his side chick might have a very short pussy and his dick get all the way to the egg he's pulling the egg out and then nutting the egg into his bitch at home (laughs) that's great but that's not how it works I mean you think not until you You think that his dick absorbed the egg and shot it into somebody else and impregnated it hell yeah 
I mean, so Hippie put in there that she could be a Shimmera, I think, or Chimera. Shimmera? So she could She's have She's not had a deep a, fried okay. burrito. She could have she could have been a twin and she absorbed the twin and so she has two sets of DNA. And uh, it's but the no, twins no, but see, DNA. that doesn't Holy make shit. I mean, I guess that makes sense, but a twin if you twins technically have the same set of DNA. If mm. you're an identical twin, so you it's couldn't the same tell split. the difference between so one another. If you're an identical twin, you have you're a clone of each other. Is mm-hmm. literally what that is. Yeah, but if, but, if, but if, if, frater- that... if you're fraternal, right. that means you are different. You have different. DNA. Right, but if you're identical and you commit a crime and your hair falls out, they and could they, uh, they, they could, could they arrest could, the yes, person. They could accuse the other person. Yeah. Well, I mean that makes sense. It's the same nigga. And, yeah. and I got one of them. Fuck it. But look, here's the thing though. <laughs> <laughs> one of them, one of them could <laughs> not be evil though. The other one feel bad, and that's his prison. Not you. That's his prison. Here's the thing, though. What if, what if she is a Siamese top bottom, <laughs> so that that's her twins' pussy? Oh, I see. I see where you're going. You this know what is... I'm saying? That's the twin pussy. Mm. <laughs> okay, Pat. Which ones are false and which ones? Yeah. Are... What are you looking for? <laughs> Just the charger. Oh, uh, um, okay. Because uh, okay. uh, I want to know if I'm thinking too hard about something that's okay. proven false. So let's 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 just keep going with it then. All right. So um. She was, you know, the mother was afraid because this could lead to prison time and her kids being taken away from her. But uh, she was just like, how could I be guilty when I gave birth in front of people, you know? Right. Uh, So she became to parent. Oh, and uh, the husband is black. We got to notice that she's white and the dude is black. Very black. I did not know that, actually. So, yes. Uh, She knew her life. um, So she did um, the only thing she could think to do. She went to find proof. Old photos, birth certificates, everything she could do um, to prove that she carried uh, and given birth to her own children. It's an unbelievably, uh, it's an unbelievable scenario for any mother to be placed in. Um, but then she told her parents, and her, their reactions were about exactly what you'd expect. I thought she was joking um, when she started crying on the phone, but then it's got to be a mistake. Blah blah blah. blah. She called the doctors, but it didn't matter. Um, so she took a DNA test. Um, the DNA was completely different, um, so it was it was really just like a a, a big deal. Um, but she caught a break out of nowhere. Um, some Boston woman by the name of Karen Keegan under underwent the same situation. She was in need of a kidney tra- transplant when her doctors called her back to inform her that her children didn't match her DNA. She was tested and asked the same questions as Fairchild, and there was no explanation of how she couldn't be the mother of their children. This is why. This type of data is important because now if there's another case, you can compare it as opposed to just drowning the person who this happens to because you think they're a witch. If there's two, I mean, there's quite When shit like this happens, though, we have to to question the fact that DNA is... Well, that we don't understand it completely. Exactly. Like, DNA is a form of measurement. It's it's, 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 it's literally like... Oh, my God. Like... Damn, it's, it's still going? No. You guys were actually right. Um... Basically, she was a twin. Oh. To hear was one thousand percent correct. It was hippie. She came up with that. It that says it mm-hmm. says that Keegan was supposed to be a twin, but while she was in her mother's womb, the two fertilized eggs fused, turning yep. two twins into one person, but with two s- separate oh, trans so instead of, of the DNA. Eggs splitting, it was two separate eggs that combined. That That's means that wild. when you when when twins form, you're technically. L- not even technically, you are literally two people walking around. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with two different things of DNA. That's why. That's, that's why. That's why. You could commit crimes and no one. Yeah, but that's why the pussy is probably not even hers. The pussy probably her sisters. <laughs> the one she absorbed. <laughs> who, who knows? <laughs> well, if she has them simultaneously. Does she, she Fucking her is a threesome, and I would, <laughs> I would claim it as such. Man, I, I got these two bitches in my past to see. That is funny as hell. <laughs> hey, this threesome is fire as hell, yeah, even though there's two yeah, people yeah. here. Yeah. All right, so oh. let's okay. say let's say that one was true. And the underground pyramid in the Bermuda Triangle. That one I don't Same buy thing. as much. I feel Same like there's thing. too many things that were answering questions that I didn't have. But there's also the Aquaman them. crystals that let you breathe underwater. That, so Aquaman crystals that breathe underwater, let you breathe underwater, a crystal pyramid that's just underwater and the um, the relations are just what they are, or the, uh, mother giving um, birth to three people. That was real. Who are and who have this separate DNA? That one's real. You so only, you think you said only one is true? Only one is true. That one's true. 
You think that multiple, one's true? That one's multiple true. personality disorder, hmm. bipolar. I don't know, I mean, maybe not bipolar, but multiple personality schizo. This could be like, we don't know what the fuck is going on. Well, we don't mm-hmm. know enough about our own brains in that sense. Exactly. And you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Anyway, I think um, the underground, here's why. Something is going on in the Bermuda Triangle. Mm-hmm. That's fact. Anything that yes. leads to explaining that and also, also has elements of things that we already understand lends me to believe that I can, you know what I'm saying? Like crystals, when they're not separated from their source, this is very important. Like the crystals we walk around in our pockets and shit, they might be dead. Yeah. But that's a true. Real like a cave crystal, crystal? yeah. That's, that's in its element, that's growing and harnessing the same energy that it was meant to have. Hmm. Not the ones you buy from Amazon. Not the ones you got from Amazon or down in fucking Venice Beach. Them the raw ones, the crystals. Raw, 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 that's still They growing. got some shit in them. The same way that a vegetable will grow, or, you know what I'm saying, like flowers are right. alive when they're connected to that source. But once you cut it, it, yeah. You think the vegetables have some crazy properties that we kill when we try to eat them? Well, you never know. You heard about dandelions and how the government... No. I haven't heard about dandelions. What? No, I haven't heard about dandelions. The that the government has been um, demonizing dandelions to us, even though dandelions and the dandelion root is literally... Like it could cure oh, so much thing. shit. Yeah, the Native and so Americans what happens use dandelions is for a lot of things. They make us kill dandelions with, with the weed killer. The weed killer is a, a almost like a cancer inducing chemical, hmm. which, which which the pharmaceutical companies rely mm-hmm. on for us yeah. to get sick. Dandelions would damn near. I've not heard this tied together. Yeah, yeah. Like and it's sort of like the government knew this, didn't do anything about it. Still let us kill our dandelions. Your medicine is growing in your yard. It's crazy. I never heard of that, but that might be. Uh, I mean, the dandelion. That might be a reason to yeah. bring you back on the show. Let's talk about dandelion. Yes, he's he's reading it right now. The no, I, I just conspiracy. No, I just looked it up. Weeds. I just don't want to even read it right this now. Is after a lot of fucking. So Pat, tell me which one's true. Which one's all right. Wrong. So what, what guess is how I, many how I, many ads do we have left? All of them done. Okay, so Thank you. what y'all think? Well, I, I think, think the last one was real. Thinking. I think the DNA one is real. The other two are false. But I mean, Both all, are of them, all of them are surrounding some form of truth. Like something that there is something in the Bermuda. One triangle. of them is not true. Let's see, one of them. Two well, of them. actually, you I'm not even gonna lie. One yeah. of them they say is not true. But actually, I'm not even gonna lie because the one that I say isn't true is there's one site that says like this isn't true, but all, all the other ones say that like is. either science is saying it or not outright saying it. Or you know what I mean because like when I when I read it, okay, just hold on, Aquaman crystals. It has to be. It. I'm gonna tell you why before you even say it because I might be as wrong. the false. Okay, I think that's the false one because it's 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 hypothesis based. Think about it, like yeah, because there's no we haven't actually used these rocks to breathe underwater. It's yeah, that there potentially can be used. I think there is a rock probably that can like absorb oxygen and hold it. Yeah, we've not tapped into how to release that in any way that's useful. Mm. Crystal pyramid is also a hypothesis because they said that the sonar that they used it could just be certain deposits of something, and not an actual pyramid. But they think that it's a pyramid. Hey, why would a pyramid just form unless that's what yeah. they're unless, unless it, it was etc. no water there at the same at that time? You know, which is skyscrapers possibly though. true. Which is possibly true that the I mean the Earth's been changing since we've been on. Yeah, I don't think right. anybody any early man swam down there and made a pyramid. No, you know I mean, what probably I mean? the water yeah. level was yeah, lower yeah, water level was probably yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Because the Grand Canyon was filled with water at one point. That's how it got to be the Grand Canyon. Well, if you think about it, if they were flying over the Bermuda Triangle specifically that much, then it must have been um, an area of the world where you had to pass a lot, which could you could probably make the, the argument that this was a land surface that you had to pass thing through. Like a hub? Mm-hmm. That you know what I mean? Like, through? now it's just underwater, and you still have to pass through there. Because I would think that if there's just a random part of the ocean that had a crystal pyramid above it and anybody who flew across it was or swam across it or boated across it was fucked, I would assume that maybe, like, if you went out of your way and passed these things and, like, okay, maybe it's cursed. But, like, the fact that it was, like, people for some reason had to pass there, it probably was really important, which means probably it was above land at some time. There, there yeah, is that, that ar- argument. Yeah, so maybe. are you saying that two are true or two are false? One only one is false, okay, even so though one, all three okay. of them Got were crazy. It. Which one? Which one have they said is false? Which one is false? Should I just say it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, the false out of these three is 
the crystal pyramid underneath. Okay. That's the that's the one I thought was false because there was too underneath many, the Bermuda there Triangle. There were too many factors you were bringing in that weren't as related to it. That like I was like I don't ask ask that question. So I so yep. Like, when conspiracy theories have too many things that are answered, I'm like this feels fishy. Well, that great point. That basically means that there was a mother who gave birth to three yeah. children that there that was yeah. not there, yeah, like like easy. like to hear said. That one's the mm-hmm. most. But the you craziest Jewish, part, you know that yeah. shit is true. The crazy part is that there is a type of crystal where if you take a handful of it out, you could take all of the oxygen out of a room. Yeah, that's and I assume we're gonna see that technology in scuba diving and make mm-hmm. let them yeah. breathe longer, or in medicine, like or they said, ca- uh, cancer patients. But the fact that there are, I'll, I'll pull it up right now, it's right here. The fact that there are multiple scientists that think that these, quote, and I think it's, it, it sucks because they call them Aquaman crystals, <laughs> which makes them it makes it, it seem it, like yeah. it's fake, right. so as much opposed care. to like yeah. X93. I mean, they could be wanting people to think they're fake so that they don't get into I it. mean, I could see that, but it's also like what science always does is like these are the CX93 yeah, crystals. Yeah, no one wants to call it that. Right, but it's also like you read this and you're like, Aquaman crystals should sustain breathing underwater. It sounds so fake. It does, so, do but it the, is not. Do you put the bitch in your mouth? So basically, I don't know how so it there happens. Are rocks that form, so there, I'm sure there are deposits of rocks that form that basically, when they're around oxygen, they suck it in, and then that's natural. It's we. I don't think we've accessed on how to like tap the oxygen that's held within the rock yet, and that's like what you have because to they do. store it for later. They store, yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, what the fuck is happening in natural? Nature, <laughs> you know what you I mean. That we can tap. You said that the government said that we're trading our resources for their technology. Their yes, technology, that was right? that was a separate. That was okay. And I'll send you the link. There's a Canadian Prime Minister of Defense that started seeing these papers go through his his desk, and he was just like, "What the hell?" And he went on camera. And 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 t- basically talked about everything that was happening. But what I'm saying is that, and then you said that the Grand Canyon used to be filled with water. That's why. It's, if you understand yeah. the evapor the evaporation cycle, water is just going to stay and go and go. Yeah. If anything, is going to grow more. The water right. that's on the Earth has always been on the Earth. But that's what I'm right. saying, though. But this is the water planet. All right. Hear me out. This is my hypothesis. This is my own conspiracy theory. This is the water planet. We are the water people. Right. We cry tears. Our bodies are 75% water, hmm. right? Everything about us is water, and okay. this is the water planet. Okay. If you look at places like Venus, that's the gas planet. Mm-hmm. Their people could be literally made of vapors. Yeah. And that's how they operate. Now, we talk about visitors coming to our planet. We think that we see ghosts. Vapor-esque people. It could be them. It could be them. Well, no, I don't, I don't believe that. But I'm saying, hold on, hold on. Because we're on this planet that is almost responsible for its own element that we can't seem to find anywhere else. For example, Jupiter is all ice, which means that it was water. Right. Right? But it's like there's no planet that has this liquid water. That, that's like saying like, if you want some cocaine, you want cocaine. You don't want crack. Mm-hmm. If you want the coke, you got to get the coke. Like You go to Peru, or wherever you go. This is where the water is at. I feel like big bodies of water have gone missing on this planet, and I feel like we've given them to people. We've, we've given them. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like we've literally no. the Grand given, Canyon, the water in the Grand Canyon is what you say. Where the fuck is it? Well, there's a tr- there's a river. If you go to the very bottom, there yeah, used no, to be yeah, a river. There, there, that's what cut. River. That's right. why I cut it. But it's, but it's like, like, have you ever seen the L.A. River? And it's like, because it used damn, to be, I mean, this used to be a river, but right. now it's just like this little stream. It piss. almost looks like it, it looks we, like piss. Yeah, we drank it all. Yeah, I'm just saying. Like, did we drink it all? I mean, that's what they say. So then, why didn't we piss it? Well, you know, it melted all of the. If we melted the ice caps, and basically because those are so small now, that's why it's a stream. Because it used to be because of, I mean, the, the water would come from the ice caps, and then you'd have a river because it's melting. Does that make sense? So the the ice cap in the mountain melts, and then it be- forms a river down the mountain. Right. That's where it came from. But because those have been gotten so low, there's not a lot of water, so that's why the river is so small. Wow. But my point is that we what? are the beings <laughs> of this planet. Wow. We go to other planets looking for life the way that we understand life to be. Mm-hmm. And then we can't ever find it because 
we're looking for life to be living and look just like us. Well, yeah, not right. even look like us, but like have the same compound. That's like, where the whole like Goldilocks theory of that the Earth is in a very specific point in space, and if you moved it like an inch, everyone would die. Would happen. Yeah, mm. yep. um, and we're in like the ideal situation for our life to exist. So other our planets, life, though, for right. other planets, would be in their ideal situation mm-hmm. for life to exist on that planet. And so we would have to literally look for like you know like below the surface. Like for example, if if the if the surface is cold, just like hollow earth theory, they say that shit lives inside of our earth. Right. Getting warm from our core. Right. So we look on the surface of other planets that are so far away from the sun that it is possible, impossible for anything, but we're not looking inside of yeah. anything. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Until we get boots on the ground on Mars to actually be look, yeah. Like we that. need to go on Mars and mo- the well, moon and other shit and be like, yo, we here for sure. Now do y'all conspiracy theories because it's just like, fam, the fact that y'all been once and haven't been back is just like, Y'all leaving us conspiracy theorists well, the in the dark. The moon for us was boring because the moon I don't, is a piece of earth. But I don't like talking about it. You to be the honest. Boots? <laughs> to you, be you honest. See the boots on the bottom of the boots that don't match the grooves. Like so, they have Armstrong's boots, and they and they're they're so arrogantly put them in like a museum. Mm-hmm. The right. bottom of his boots do not match the grooves that's on the footsteps that they p- took pictures of on the moon. Because it was a Ooh. photo op. We definitely went to the moon for Russia. You think we did? Yeah, I think we did. We definitely did. Why? Really? Why do you Why think? Because I definitely think we did. Because of the amount of people who knew about it happening, and the amount of people who'd have to keep it secret that it didn't happen. By now, we would know. Like you don't. There's not enough people in the government who have kept that secret. Like I could. I don't believe that. All right. Well, listen. We're almost at two hours, so we actually have to get up out Let's of here, go. man. Cam came in on his day off. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the, the studio's this is your day off. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the studio's closed. Cam, he thank came you, in man. Just to, just to, to rock with us. So thank you all so much for watching. Thank you so much, Cam. Big shout out to our special guest. CP came through, blessed us uh, with his presence, man. We had a great time with him. Shout out uh, to CP. Shout out to the Scary Squad, man. We appreciate y'all for tapping in. Most of y'all stayed the entire time. Uh, my name is Tahir Moore. My name is Patrick Cloud. <laughs> I'm CP, man. Y'all already know, man. Shout out to the CPs. <laughs> it's been another episode of Damn It Is That You Scary. We'll see you next week. Peace. Oh, let do.